So, hello everybody. Um, for those who haven't heard of us, we are the new Nicotine Alliance. Um, basically, we decided to take a different tack to Vapors in Power, who did absolutely fabulously. Thanks a lot to them for all their efforts. The way that we went was we decided to take it to um, their home ground, basically, to get into the faces of the people who are making decisions about your vaping. So what we did was, uh, following a meeting in London in uh, 2013, January 2013, we decided to set up the New Nicotine Alliance as a charity, because that gets us into places where other, places, other organisations can't get. So just quickly about the way we've formed, we've got a board of trustees, which is currently eight people, six of those people are vapors. Then we have 20 associates who feed into our work and give us advice. Most people are vapors, they're scientists, they're politicians, they're policy makers. And then we have our supporters. Liam very kindly mentioned that basically for us to be able to do anything, we need your support. We need to know that we're speaking for you. So this is the sort of work that we've been doing. Basically, it's engagement with regulators. We respond to all of the consultations on e-cigarettes as they come up. We've spoken at uh, all parliamentary um, groups on smoking and health. We attended the Global Forum on Nicotine in 2014. We've written to the World Health Organization, although as they do with everybody, they ignored us. We attended um, conferences in Barcelona and Kent. Lorian here is the face of NNA and she's been doing uh, radio and TV interviews whenever something that concerns e-cigarettes come up. She's our voice, basically. Again, Scottish consultation. After we submitted a, a consultation response to uh, the Scottish Government, we were asked to attend a meeting, which Lauren attended by phone because she's from Cornwall. <laughs> and they then asked us to provide a briefing paper on bans on enclosed spaces, which obviously we totally against. We've been talking to the Welsh Government. One of our trustees is Welsh. And he's been to meetings with but just about every AM that would speak to him. We've assisted Public Health England with um, their consultations to vapors, and we've been to meet with them as well. And we've also been to uh, research workshops organised by Cancer Research UK to identify gaps in uh, current knowledge. And all of these things are ongoing, and that's why we need your support. So at this point, I'm going to hand over to Lorian, who's going to tell you a bit more about what's in the pipeline for us and what we're looking for from you. Hi, my name is Lorian Jolly. You may know me on social media as uh, Cerulean C. Sarah and I are both vapors, and we have been two and a half years for myself and Sarah, about 18 months. Prior to the NNA, we had lots of disparate groups of advocacy. Um, so there was no real movement like we slightly see in the States with the staff, the groups we got together there, which is frankly inspiring. We brought NNA together because, as Sarah said, we needed a group that would have some integrity and would have the ability to go to these conferences and meetings and people would call on us. But we just normal people. What we've learned about the entire process, and as you saw with all the things that we've done, where we've made the most ground is by sitting down and talking to people and having conversations. That's not just something we've done, that's something vapors in the UK and in the States and in Germany and in France have all learned the same lesson. The biggest tool that we have all got is the ability to tell our stories. Because once somebody looks you in the eye, no matter what they've read in the Daily Mail and what release they've seen from the WHO, when they look in the eye, they can see what the, what the truth actually is. Because we do know the truth. We've all read the research and we're all very well versed in what we've got to do. For NMA, we have got research coming up that we're assisting with. We've got people on our board, as Sarah mentioned, who are policy makers. So we've got a lot of influence and we're getting more influence. And we do need more support because a charity is only of any value if there's lots of people behind it. Policymakers can look at us and go, my God, they've got thousands of supporters, it gives us credibility. The other thing we need, I'm going to introduce you to Kat Patrick here, there's a lot of research going on, and I know you all know there's some really bad research going on, and it's really disheartening. And it's very easy when you see a call 
for participation in new studies to brush it off. Because I think a lot of us have lost faith in how the research has worked and how the new system is working and how Germans are dealing um, with work on e-cigarettes. But there is good work happening and we are very lucky in the UK that we've got some really good researchers who are interested in finding out why this works. Not how they can disprove it, not how they can find out how much more alcohol there is or how much more acid or whatever. They want to know why we like the nicotine, why we like the flavors, why we like the habit, what it means to us. But they need support. So if I can ask her to Catherine, she's going to outline something that she's undertaking at the moment and needs support as well. Thank you, Vina Shoy. Um, yeah, as, as you both said, we cannot overemphasize the importance of research. We need you, vapors, to help us to actually inform regulation. The way it works at the moment is regulations then coming down at the vapors. It needs to be, you need to provide this platform, you vapors, to help us gather research that is unbiased to actually understand e-cigarette use in order to inform their regulation and policy makers. So I'm working with Dr. Lynn Dawkins. Dr. Lynn Dawkins from the University of East London. She has uh, extensively published in, uh, on e-cigarette research. So for this particular research project, we're looking at regular papers. You will be invited twice to come to the university and invited to use a uh, third generation e-cigarette for about an hour. And uh, you will be invited as well to um, have some blood samples taken. Um, it is really important to, for you to raise awareness because we cannot get the research, we cannot get the data without vapors taking part. As you are aware, this is a very politicized uh, topic. So we need this data to actually, you know, to inform regular, uh, regulations. Thank you very much. You can actually, sorry, you can follow me on Twitter at cat underscore Kimba or you can also, um, if you can get my email address back on there, I will be around, I'm distributing a few flyers. If you're interested in taking part, you can email me at c.kimba at uel.ac.uk. Thank you very much.